What's up everyone, Austin here with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Fall of Cybertron Generations Frenzy and Ratbat. And I have a good friend, a guest star here with me, which is Tristan aka T-Dog12344, say hello. Hey, hi. Yeah, he's here and he's going to help me review this set, these little two minions of Sound Blaster, which I will be making my Sound Blast review at some point, it's just that... I've got a little uh, things to work out, and it's it's going to be difficult to uh, get that up. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and set these guys off to the side and take a look at the packaging. As you can see right here, we have a very nice picture of Frenzy and Ratbat. They look very, very nice. Just say Frenzy yeah. and Ratbat there. Follow the Cybertron, Decepticon symbol. They're very easy to transform, except for Frenzy, and I'll get into him in a little bit. He has a trick to him. Come around here to the back, and there's their data file things and I would let if you wanna pause and read which I'll zoom in up there if you want to go ahead and pause and read their bio go ahead and do that if you like and go ahead and zoom out anyhow so yeah um, very nice I really do like the packaging and it does show that they do eject out of sound wave or sound blaster so I'll be getting into that then bottom and also also sold separately uh, rumble and Ravage, and they're, they're pretty nice. Set the packaging off to the side, and here we come to the two little cassettes themselves, and what do you think of these cases? I think they look pretty awesome, if you ask me. Yeah, I like it how, um, like, they're in the Decepticon case. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it's G1 accurate. I mean, with the G1 sound wave, I believe he had cassette holders for Frenzy, or... Or, uh, laser beak. Am I not mistaken on that? Um, well... Or do you not know? Do you not know? Um, uh, I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, I, we'll do a little research. Uh, come around here to the back. You can see them folded up in there with their backs. I mean, come around to the front, you know. And they're data discs, so they're pretty cool. And what you do is you open them up. And there you have the two inside. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Ratbat. Yeah, we're going to take a look at Ratbat here. I really like his pink color. I think it looks cool. And I really do like the gold and black detail. What do you think of his detail? Um, it's pretty cool. Like, it looks pretty, like, Cybertronian. Yeah, um, with the, with the data disc, I mean... You know, none of our discs on Earth have uh, what that looks like. Uh, but anyhow, to transform Ratbat, which is pretty amazing, you just drop him and it has the trigger there. And it just springs out into what we know as Ratbat. And I love the little rat er, Ratbat face on him, which is the bat head. What do you think of his bat head? Um, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, he kind of uh, looks pretty cool. Like,. Sort of looks like a newer version of Rapper. And he does. Like, it takes the G1 to a whole other perspective. And I like that they did that. And as you can see, he has, like, a spinal cord in his back. You know, underneath he has the gold detail. And the Decepticon symbol. We cannot leave that out. Just overall, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and transform him back. And I'll show you how to do this. Fold that. Make sure his head is folded forward. Fold that in like so. Bring his arms around. Make sure they tab in, and now he's already transformed. Now we're going to get on to Frenzy. And we're going to go ahead and slide him out. And he's probably one of the easiest ones to get out, really. Ratbat's really hard to get out, and I really don't know why. But anyhow, to transform Frenzy, after we take a look at his disc, uh, I think he looks nice. What do you think of the silver and the red? I think they complement each other. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, how it's kind of shiny. Like, that's pretty cool. I think it pops. I really do. Uh... And, of course, he has a Decepticon symbol down there. But, anyhow, we're going to transform him. He kind of really springs and pops open into a little frenzy. And you fold his arms down. Fold his little feet out. And there you have Frenzy. And he stands up. And it's the engineering that goes into this little guy is amazing. And I really do like his little detail. I mean, he does look G... He looks almost like G1. Is that right? Yeah. 
He almost looks like he could be a, like a little G1 figure. And his maybe his little circle is in his hands. Or maybe for something to come. Maybe they're going to make little pile drivers. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, maybe like, I think there, maybe like, I don't know. There might be like something that you could put in his hands that I'm not sure that I don't know about. But... I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I think if Hasbro or Takara, either one, were to make pile drivers to fit in this guy's hands, he'd look pretty awesome. I think he'd look awesome anyway, but he yeah. he's, he looks cool either way. He really does. Uh, to transform him back, just fold his hands up, fold his feet in, and then bring his arms folded to the back. And then this is where it's going to get kind of tricky. You want to bring his legs all the way out, and then you're going to rotate them around like this and kind of fold them up like so. And he's a bit tricky, but there you go. Like, I spent the night at my friend's house, and uh, his little brother was got this guy in a heartbeat, was able to transform him fast. This guy, he had a bit of trouble with, and I believe he almost broke this guy's leg off, and I had to take it away from him. I'm like, oh, no, you don't. And I, I took it away from him because I couldn't dare have him break it. So, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these guys with Sound Blaster. So, there we have those two sitting there. And here we have Sound Blaster standing behind his two little minions. And, like I said, Sound Blaster, I'll get into his review at some point. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop open his chest here. We're going to go ahead and eject uh, Buzzsaw out because we don't want him right now. <clears throat> get him out of there. Sound Blaster. I mean, Buzzsaw. Yeah, Buzzsaw is pretty cool, but I'm not doing a review of him. We're setting him off to the side. We're taking a look at these three, and pretty much, you know, you can extend this all the way back. Take Frenzy, put him inside, kind of push him up to the front here, and then you can take Rat Bat, which he's really hard to fit in there. You can fit him in there, and voila, close it up. And I think that's pretty cool. I think it's very G1 accurate to what they did, uh, making it that you could do that. And also, you can fit all three of them too if you really want to but i'll get into that in the sound blaster and buzz saw review all right yeah i yeah, think it's pretty cool how like they, you could just be like they could all like pop out at once and it could just be like whoa this is pretty cool yeah like i've always wanted a playset when i was younger where I could just store all my transformers in but why not be the playset now get into this in my sound blaster review why not the playset be the transformer itself to be able to store yeah. many figures inside his chest is just awesome. Yeah. Of course, they have the ejecting action, which you can do this here. Get out of there. Um, that, okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. And then, yeah, Frenzy just decides to fall out. But literally, if I were to have a camera where this guy just... Shoot. Okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen in this review. I apologize. Um... I'm not even going to cut that out either. I'll just have that in the background. I apologize. Uh, yeah, this guy actually literally went flying out of his chest. And I might actually, at the end of the review, get that clip and just slow it down. Because that was really cool. Like, he literally went and flew out of his chest. And he went all the way to the side. And it was really hard to get to him. And, uh, by the way, t Doll guy, I apologize for that table falling in the background. That was bad. Uh, my chair got a hold of it and just tore it down completely and it just fell that was pretty bad um i'm sorry for all the viewers that for all the headphone users that watched my reviews and had the headphones in and they're just oh, in the background i apologize for that that was not really supposed to happen uh but yeah um this is my review of transformers uh fall of cybertron generations rumble and frenzy uh, what do, do you say that you would recommend this? These two little discs, these two little minions. Would you recommend them? Yeah, I would uh, recommend these to anyone who, uh, anyone who likes um, discs and transformers. <laughs> well said. Well said. Uh, yeah, these guys go very well with Sound Blaster, as we all know. Rat Bat originally goes with Sound Blaster, so this obviously works. Um, so, I've, I don't think I've ever seen Buzzsaw, but maybe I'll have to go back and I'll have to do my research and maybe take a look at uh, some Transformers action. So, there's my review of Transformers, Fall of Cybertron, Generations, Frenzy, and Rat Bat. We both recommend these because they're pretty darn awesome. They go very well with Sound Blaster or Sound Wave, in that matter. My Sound, my sound Blaster review is coming up very soon. I will not have a guest star for that, unfortunately, because... 
I, I just need it to be me for that one. And also, I will be having a Lego set review come up, uh, Lego motor set review coming up, and that'll be interesting to watch. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, our links of our stuff will be down in the description below. His YouTube channel will be below. My Facebook will be below. Everything like that will be down below. And I, I thank my friend for uh, for deciding to be a guest star in this. I really applaud him for that. Uh, this is my third. This is my third one. So thank you so much. And make sure to click all those links in the description. Yeah, make sure to click all of them. I'm being serious. Make uh, sure to smash that like button. Yeah, yeah, also smash, yeah, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. I forgot, I always say that at the end. You gotta make sure you guys do that. Maybe I'll have another contest if you guys do that. Sorry, guys, thanks for watching. Adios.